Hi kids, welcome back to Adventureland. I hope you enjoyed last week. Have you been telling people that Jesus is your King and praising God and worshipping Him and thanking Him for all the great things He's done? I know I have. Well, today is another special day. Today is Easter Sunday and today is my favourite lesson to teach. Today we're going to learn that Jesus is alive. But first, let's go through our Bibles in the Word of God and see what's been happening to Jesus. People waved palm branches and put them on the road in front of Jesus. They shouted, Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is the King of Israel. Then Jesus did something else. He picked up a loaf of bread and blessed it. Then he broke it into pieces. He gave the bread to his disciples to eat. Jesus said, this is my body. Every time you do this, think of me. In the same way, he took a cup of juice and blessed it. He gave it to the disciples to drink. This is my blood. It is poured out to forgive the sins of many. Judas went to the leaders. He asked, how much will you pay me if I help you capture Jesus? They said, 30 pieces of silver. Jesus had gone to his favorite garden to pray. The disciples went along. Jesus prayed, if it is your will, I am ready to give my life so that all the people who trust in me will be saved from their sins. They took Jesus to the leaders. The leaders said, you say that you are the son of God. We do not believe you. They beat Jesus and kicked him and hit him and whipped him. Then the soldiers took charge of Jesus. They made him carry a big wooden cross. They took him to a place called the Skull, Golgotha. There they nailed Jesus to the cross. Jesus died on the cross. Everyone who loved Jesus was very sad, but they had forgotten something important. Jesus had said, he would see them again soon. Hi kids, here we are at the end of our story and this is the most important part. Now we're going to learn about the resurrection of Jesus. Now it was, here we can see Jesus' tomb. That's where they laid Jesus' body and they put a big stone in front of it so that nobody could take it away. Now, it was the third day and the Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came. They wanted to go to the tomb. And as they approached it, there was a large earthquake and an angel of the Lord appeared. And the angel rolled back the stone. And the angel said to the ladies, do not be afraid. For I know it is Jesus who was crucified that you seek, but he is not here. He has risen. Come and see. And they went and they saw that the tomb was empty and that Jesus' body wasn't there. And the angel said, go quickly and tell the disciples all that you have seen and that Jesus will meet them in Galilee. Now the ladies were excited and scared and they went to tell the disciples. Now behold, as they went along, they saw Jesus and he said, rejoice. And the ladies fell down and they worshipped at his feet. And he said, ladies, do not be afraid, but go now and tell my brethren that I will meet them in Galilee. Now the ladies left. They went and they ran to tell the disciples, the followers of Christ. And they told Peter and all the others that were there. But Peter didn't really believe. He wasn't sure. So Peter came to the grave himself. And when he looked in, he saw the grave clothes. Can you see the grave clothes? Look, these were the clothes that Jesus' body had been wrapped in. They were all folded nicely. And when Peter saw this, he believed. He knew that Jesus wasn't dead, but that he had risen. Now, I, that's the end of our story. And I have a question for you guys. Do you believe that Jesus rose from the dead? The Bible says 
in John 3, 16, that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever would believe in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Is that you today? Do you believe that Jesus died on the cross and rose again the third day? I do. Well, that's the end of our lesson for today. And now let's bow our heads and pray. Say after me, Lord Jesus, we believe that you died on the cross and that you rose again three days later. And we are so grateful for all that you did for us. We thank you, Jesus, with all our hearts. And all the children said, Amen. Okay, guys, well, stay tuned and I'm going to show you what craft we do for this week.